This is Sully for Antisocial News, and this is the Body Count Report for Monday the 1st, 2018. Yeah, said it first try. Oh my gosh. Let's, uh, let's just try to write some checks, see if that happens. Okay, um, I, I have a few stories for you, stories of life or death situations from around the world. That's what I do here on the Body Count Report. Uh, I am also in the cell phone lot. Hashtag save Sully from the cell phone lot. Uh, thank you to my Patreon supporters. Um, uh, uh, Zed, Barbara, Dan, thank you guys. Uh, also, uh, uh, Sarge, thank you so much. Uh, 2018 is going to be a big year. I hope to, to uh, expand on this thing that we got going on here and, and, uh, and take it to the next level. And yes, eventually one of these days be saved from the cell phone line. All right. Um, uh, we have the 2017 Rappler sum up. Uh, I put a link to their YouTube in this. This is an incredible one where they, they include, uh, some of the biggest stories, uh, that, that I've covered, but I actually was covering them from Manila Times mostly, but, uh, Rappler's a good source as well. Then we have uh, USA Today uh, uh, about the cold, basically. You know, over the weekend, it's been so cold that I believe five people have died. So hor horrible cold-related deaths here in the United States. And then we have a very simple uh, life or death situation. Don't fire rockets at Israel. The IDF retaliates to rocket launched at Eshkol. So, Ynet News reporting on that one. Then we have Bangladesh targets... That comma's not in the right place. Uh, it looks like... Uh... Well... It... It's 100,000, but there's a comma after the first one for some reason. Let me, let me just... Let me... I don't remember seeing that in the link. Let me take... Oh, yes. I I, I wasn't hallucinating. Okay. <laughs> That's 100,000, but for some reason there's a comma after the first one. <laughs> what is that? Okay. Uh, Bangladesh targets 100,000 for first Rohingya repatriation. Why is there a comma after the first one? Is that a thing? Help me out, Indian people. I know, I know. There's a few Indians who watch this, but w is that a thing in India to write uh, to write one and then a com uh, to write a number and then a comma? That's so weird. What am I looking at there? Okay, in 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 American maths, we don't write uh, a comma. Unless there's three integers, and then and then the comma, never comma, and then two integers. Uh, so yeah, I'm very confused by that. Anyway, uh, it's a good story. It's a story about how Bangladesh is is helping um, re, uh, Myanmar resettle the Rohingya that that uh, that all bailed out during the conflict between the Myanmar government and the Arakan Rohingya Salvation Army. Uh, a, uh, so, moving, moving on, aside from that strange math situation, um, uh, we also don't say maths here in the United States. Uh, okay, another Times of India reporting here. We have man with explosives takes 11 hostages in Ukraine. So, uh, check that out. Very interesting. Uh, uh, Times of India reporting. Ten injured in Russian supermarket bombing. Uh, this is a pretty shocking story. There are pictures. I believe there's also video. Uh, check the link out in the description below. Eight dead as passenger boat capsizes in Indonesia. So, Times of India as well. Father killed in fatal shooting brought about by Call of Duty swatting prank. Promised I would put this in the list. Um, it's a it's a 
uh, a very bizarre news story. Uh, it's in a lot of different formats and, and, and a lot of different publications covered it, but you know I like to go right to the source, so this is actually a gaming website that is covering it, epicstream.com slash news. Uh, so check that link out in the description below. Uh, basically, it just shows uh, some ridiculous ways people can get killed. And uh, this was a hoax got somebody killed. All right. Uh, 18 dead on Af in a funeral in Afghanistan. Times of India reporting here. Uh, we have... Uh, Brazil Prison Riot, Times of India reporting. Um, oh, also, if you are a patron, you may have noticed that the 18 dead at the funeral is the story that I was talking about when I was talking about something that had actually been trending on Facebook in the discussion, yet the story that I had talked about a couple days earlier that had 40 people dead uh, was not was not trending. It did not, it did not make trending. So I was sort of curious as to know why why one story would trend and the other story wouldn't. Anyway, moving on. Uh, violence in prisons in Brazil. Nine dead. Then we have a, a story with a lot of visuals, a lot of, um, uh, a lot of audio. You can get this one. I have two links here. Prince Libre and NBCnews.com. This is one dead in Chicago. There's also four other seriously injured. Um, but, uh, it was a, a, a mentally ill, uh, shooter was called, man, that's loud. Why the hell does that need to be so loud? Uh, a mentally ill shooter, um, was dealing with the police and, uh, he, uh, opened fire on them. So very bizarre, very bizarre situation. There's some audio on it. Uh, check it out. Uh, like I said, two sources, Prensa Libre and NBC News reporting. Um, uh, <clears throat> we have the Iran protests. This is probably the biggest story. Um, Twelve killed in protests and attacks on security. Uh, Iran State TV states. Of course, uh, Iran is not known for being a bastion of freedom of speech. As we saw in 2009, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty upset by this story, um, because it's, the way it's being reported, uh, this is, this is coming from Iran State TV that 12 have killed, over 20 have been killed now, from what we can tell, also, um, you know, these, these protesters, you look at the difference between protesting in different countries. You got, uh, um, you got in, in America, there's, there's massive protests, buildings are destroyed and, uh, uh, nobody dies, um, uh, generally, generally speaking. Uh, even in Israel, you see all these people protesting, you see the day of rage and maybe somebody dies, you know, uh, after, after you throw enough rocks at enough police and military people, eventually they, they fight back because if you got 20 people throwing rocks at you, you actually could die and you actually do defend yourself. And so after several days of rage, one or two people end up dead. Um, then you have protests in Iran and you have 12 people killed instantly. And this isn't, this isn't, you know, Iranians versus Jews. This isn't, uh, Sunni versus Shia. This is Iranian versus Iranian. And the Iranian government is so brutal in cracking down on freedom of speech and on protests that they will, boom, kill you. And then one of the most disgusting things I ever heard about in my entire life, uh, an Iranian professor showed me was some of these people that get killed will then get a bill for the bullets sent to their family. 
So not only does a family lose a, an active member of society in this in this protester that that got gunned down for trying to speak their mind, for trying to have their 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 opinion known to the world, not only does their family lose this person, but then the government of the Islamic Republic of Iran sends that family a bill for what it cost to kill their child. Think about that. And uh, keep an eye on the story of Iran and what's going on there and try to see what the protesters are doing and don't just uh, don't live without empathy try to empathize try to understand because there's real darkness out there and the only way we can uh, the only way we can face it is if we if we do this together alright this is Sully for any social news cheers <laughs>